Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spectacle. So, I should have been more observant, and I, I guess I'm just maybe rushing a little too bit, uh, a little too much for some of these rooms. Look at this plank here. See how it's discolored compared to the rest, or it's just a different color? There's a hollow space behind this wooden plank. It is secured in place, but you think you can pry it open. Use the pole arm. There we go. You jam the pole arm into the, into a crack and pull back. The plank quickly cracks and comes away from the from the wall. Let's see what's in here. I don't know what's actually in here. Child's last hide. A morbid cubbyhole directly beneath the tower. The air reeks of death. That is not a good sign. Now, what is what is this? Okay, there's the scorpion. See, that's why it was in the journal, with the diary, whatever. A huge scorpion emerges from the darkness. A giant scorpion. It sits still, but it is poised to strike. Well, as our usual practice, let's try fighting the thing. The massive scorpion bears down on you and pierces your body with its claws and fangs. It's got a real close-up look at me. Come on, give me a kiss. Poison cor the poison courses through you, paralyzing your body as the scorpion devours you. Well, I mean, the, the diary wasn't lying. Highest viewpoint. Boulders, scorpions, snakes, loose ladder rungs. Yep, everything has come into play. So what do I do about this asshole? Pole arm? Yeah, he gives no craps about it. No, that doesn't work. Meteor shard. Throw the meteor shot at him. Oh, you know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. You can see the giant scorpion from above. Just like with the uh, with the vent. This has a couple of different instances where it plays on, you know, the actual. Like, that's that's the point of this. I was wondering. It's like. Why is this here besides just to kill me? It actually serves a purpose. So you're telling me before when I fell, I, I actually was probably falling down into the scorpion's lair. You just didn't know that yet. How much you want to bet because this is longer reach? Yeah, look at that. Oh, it actually like screamed out in pain. With a mighty yell, you plunge the polearm downwards into the scorpion's body. The creature roars and thrashes as it dies. I could jump down, but that would probably just kill me. Yeah, get fucked, nerd. Morbid cubby hole. Yeah, it's, it reeks of death. You're looking at it right here. It oozes out of its eyes. Why can't you examine it? There's a wooden mask on the ground. Now I can examine it? That makes no sense. Pick up the mask and take it with you. What is this? A wooden tribal mask used by a child when playing games. It completely hides the wearer's face. And look at that. There's a key on the ground. I. What is he holding it in his mouth? Oh, you reach down near the dead creature and take the key. Before you pocket it, you shake off some of the blood and pus from it. That's disgusting. Look at that. A silver key uh, rests from a giant scorpion's maw. Silver key. Remember I was guessing before, in the beginning, it was going to be like a yellow, a red, a blue, and a green? I was close. How much you want to bet that opens up the gate over there? Because I got nothing else to go on by now. this don't work, then I don't know what will, because pretty much everything else has been exhausted, I think, out here. Everything is done out here. It's got to all be inside there now. Please work. The key fits perfectly and the gate unlocks. Yes! I'm so happy about that. You can't open well, I keep clicking too fast, but... Alright, let's move. Borders post. All right, please find some good stuff and find some stuff that I can use this uh, crap on. The tapestry hung on the wall tells a story. The one who would become king in his wanderlust traveled to this land eons ago in hopes to build a righteous kingdom from such such cursed origins. Using the power hurled from the heavens, he, the power hurled from the heavens. So that's the meteor shards. He challenged calamity and clutched two celestial rocks. I got those. With a mighty roar, the manticore tore.
scorn and anger set a beam of blazing hellfire upon the hero. With unwavering pose, he stood as the two shards absorbed the might of the terrible light and shattered, breaking the curse. Thus began a new friendship and the quest for the throne. A new friendship. We've got the shards, baby. Look at that. He's like, I'm gonna blast you. He's like, I got the shards, bitch. Take that. We're good. Oh, look, you can even see the meteor there. Oh, we're gonna run into this thing. What is it? It was a manticore, right? Yeah, manticore. Okay, cool. A uh, trading post set inside the palace where merchants would trade goods. There's a large tapestry on the wall. Uh, this landing leads to another part of the palace. All right, now, any discolorations? Any words? I don't see any. We haven't gotten a spell in a while. This might be all the spells, honestly. I feel like we're getting closer to the end of the game. We're still a part where we need to use something with the darkness and the lantern, but, and this will probably like be the end part, like before we get to the lamp, maybe? The Royal Dubar. A breathtaking gatehouse where guests would gather and await an audience with the ruling Saha. I might not be pronouncing that right. It might be Saha, but I, whatever, you know what I mean. Don't see anything else. Any discolorations? Anything funky? I don't see anything. It's not something that you can just open. I, I just opened this once. Bars and gates. Now that glow. Huh. That's something. There's an eerie magical glow coming from this direction. It looks dangerous. Which means we'll have to go there, I'm sure. The wall panel features the saw facing left. It looks like it can be turned by hand. Wall panel. Okay, so we can rotate these. Panel, the wall panel featuring a figure facing right. It looks like it can be turned by hand. The door is closed, and there is no lock or a handle. Okay, so... Let's move to the danger first. There's the manticore! Uh, you should not have come here, human. Or, I'm sorry. You should not have come here, human. Ah! Get sharded on, bitch! The shards of meteorite have absorbed and dispelled the curse. The manticore regains his senses. You have my sincerest gratitude for breaking the curse. Long ago, such a favor was performed by another great individual with whom I became com confidante. Confidante. Perhaps you and I shall share such friendship. To show my appreciation, I would like to help you fix that broken instrument within your possession. But alas, my ma my magical basin is all but starved of its magical waters. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay. And that's what they were talking about with the friendship. Broken, breaking the curse with the manticore. Okay. I, I'm very curious what the deaths would have been if I didn't have the thing. I would have just gotten, like, blazed on. I'm kind of sad that I have the shards, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? The majestic manticore is the vizier of this kingdom. The advisor to the saw. He is wise and wants to help you. The mortar sits here. It must be the main tool for the vizier's work. There's a marking with a... F Mark you with a foot on one of the tiles along with a line that reads, that leads to a red X. This is like a clever use of the tile floor to draw a map. Oh. Look at that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm going to end up in some maze and that's going to... I did remember reading that it mentioned that there was like a dungeon that will re-randomize even after you like start a new game or die. How much you want to bet this then shows you that randomization of what the path is through the maze? Just a wild guess. A large open balcony used by the vizier. Can I like use this? Doesn't work. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Can I talk to him? I will do my best to serve you and together we can save this land. Bring me any items you are curious about and I will provide you with information if I can. Oh! Tell me about this mask. The manticore examines the item you present to him. The owner of that mask was led to a tragic end. Such a shame. All the better if it keep if it helps you in defeating evil. Yeah, it was the boy. And then the king went mad over it, pretty much. If you do not recognize this item, I can offer no useful information. Well, fuck you. How about this gem? 
I had hidden that gem in the desert, but my mind is hazy and I have forgotten its purpose. Perhaps I wrote it down. Okay. Can you tell me about my pet bird? No, okay. I'm not gonna use do the stuff that has like no usage here. How about these insects? No. How about the abacus? Abacus has got to be a, uh, a, 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 a red herring item. It probably doesn't matter. I don't need you to explain the saber. This instrument cannot perform its purpose in this form. It has been destroyed. I can fix it if the waters are restored to my basin. All right. Well, we've got we've got our next immediate goal. I'm going to assume that I need to flip. Oh. Aha! Look at that. But look at that. I can also go in if I do that. Let's go in here first. Why do I recognize this thing? What is this from? Was this in one of the other MacVenture series? Uh, games? Game? Game from the series? I recognize this. It must be from, like, Uninvited or, um... Or Shadowgate, because it's older. I don't remember from Deja Vu at all. What the hell is this thing? A strange creature resides in this room. Despite its large mouth, you don't think it can be reasoned with. Let's see about that. Uh... He sucked me into, like, a black hole. What is this? Infested? The Guardian uses its giant mouth as a portal to send you flying into the vacuum of space. You die instantly and your remains will drift forever in the void. Is that the same background that was in Infested? <laughs> Maybe. This was... It, uh, this has to be from the Uninvited. A small antechamber that, that's likely not meant to be visited by most. Okay, so... The creature stands between you and the stairs. You can't proceed while it blocks the way. Um, did we read anything? What did that third scroll say? No, let me flush. No, that told us about the maze. This tells us nothing about this guy. Oh, doesn't he like gems? Satisfied the guardian leaves. Maybe it has gone back to wherever it came from. I could... That has to be in, in, in Uninvited. I had to have done the same thing. I'm getting like major deja vu. Small inch chamber, okay. Okay, well, okay, we did that. Um, uh, I'm kind of curious. If I... What happens if I go this way? Ruler's autonomy. This is the thrones. Ha would sit here. Glorious throne room with decorative gold work throughout. Any writings, any odd... Oh, look at this. There's a keyhole here, surrounded by gold trim. Ah, okay. Well, we know what we're here. Stick in the key. As you turn the key, the throne rises to reveal a suspicious-looking mechanism. Oh, let's see. Oh, the throne has risen and revealed a strange mechanism. You should go take a closer look. Go upstairs or go in here? This had a key. I'm kind of curious. We'll come back to here. This room was well hidden. Let's go up the stairs. There we go. Okay, so Haas rests. Oh my god. I. He's gonna open up and be like, You've disturbed my sleep. And he's gonna kill me. Large stone coffin resides here. Well... Uh, an open... Logia? What's a Logia? Logia housing giant stone, or an open logia housing a giant stone coffin. Why not? Let's just desecrate the dead. You can't lift the heavy stone lid with your hands. You need something to pry it open. Can I use the crowbar from infested? Use the mask! Okay, that won't work, obviously. Shovel? No. My bird won't do shit. Oh my god. You slide the sword under the lid and use it to pry the lid, lid off. I didn't think it would actually work. The heavy stone lid lands beside the coffin. Suddenly, a sinister cursed cloud emerges from the coffin. The air becomes heavy as death looms near. 
Oh shit. Oh, okay. We're not insta dead. Cursed, uh, cursed clouds floats from the, from the, yeah. A cursed clouds. See, that's where a cursed clouds. Just say clouds singular. A cursed cloud floats above the corpse. A curse of death is overcoming the room. Well, I mean, so far, it hasn't worked with any of these creatures, but you never know who we might be able to reason with. You get too close to the coffin and the curse overwhelms you. Your body is destroyed and left to rot. Worth a shot, baby. Not really. We knew that was going to happen. Okay. Um... What could I possibly do? I assume the instrument does something? The instrument is to put his soul to rest? Stick him in the bottle! No, that don't work. Just cram the, uh, the cloud into the bottle. So the instrument definitely doesn't work when it's broken. The spells aren't gonna do anything here. Saber Abacus. I don't think this will work. No, okay, that, that, that's definitely for the other puzzle. Along with the, uh, the lantern and everything else. I think this is a comeback to this later, because I probably don't have... Unless I use the child's mask on myself. You fit the mask over your head. It will conceal your face, but does not affect your vision at all. I thought maybe I could put on the child's mask and then, like, talk to him like, Daddy, what are you doing? Also, the mask is still on my face. Okay, so that needs to be there. All right, so there's nothing, there's nothing I can do with that right now. Let's go ahead and investigate this here. There we go. Okay. Oh. Let's see. It appears to be a giant clock, but with no hands and engraving of a cicada in the center. Fuck. Do I just put whatever time it currently is? And which which one is which? Nope. nope. Try reversing it, maybe? Otherwise, it's gonna have to go at a very specific time. Okay. I just had it flipped. With a click, the stone tablet slides open. What the fuck is that? The throne's secret has been opened and there is a garment inside. Oh. Okay. Gold fleece. I, was, I couldn't tell what the hell that was. It looked like something was hanging, but I'm like, is that a body or what? You reach into the secret throne compartment and take out a golden fleece, a cape of mythical reputation. A cloak made from the coat of a winged ram. It's a symbol of one's rightful claim to a throne. Okay, we've used every key. We have a gold fleece. Let's see if you can tell me what this could be used for. This has golden fleece with it, with it, and you may be able to prove yourself worthy of being his ally. Okay, put this on myself. You don the golden fleece. You can pass as one, as one of royal lineage now. Now this won't kill me. Oh, wait. Right? Now he'll, like, not bother me? Please? Nope, he gives no shits. I'm one of you, man! So that's not it. Okay, I have that, but... Can I, like... Alright, dude, we're... I need to fill it, but I don't have... What do I have? Scroll, shovel. We use the shovel. We use the flute. Scroll, fruit, rock, lantern, sacred bell, abacus is probably a decoy. We're gonna play saber. We've used some. Or no. He can't fix the instrument until the water is, like, restored or whatever his stuff is. I don't think any spell is gonna do anything. I didn't see a way to go in terms of, like, where's, like, the well-traveled, complete? I don't know. How did I earn that? 
We'll find out when we look at the challenges. Okay, so... I don't know. We're closing in on the 20 minutes here, pretty much. It's about there, so... There's nothing here I have, I think, that will cause anything different. Use the flute! Nope. Well, this is as good a time as any to, uh... Probably end this part here. Alright, so I feel like we're getting closer, maybe? This is a lot longer than I thought this this game was going to be. This is way, way more in-depth than Infested. But anyways, um, I'll go ahead and figure out what we need to do next uh, in between parts, and then we'll pick it up from there. See you guys then.